Okay, all the parts for my Volvo Penta MD201 is back. Uh, so over the next few videos I'm going to show you how to put this together. Um, okay, various parts, uh, the oversized pistons, this is the head, and I've got the va new valves in there. Uh, the block, which uh, it's, it's been oversized, bored out to uh, 0.5, so, um, and there are new pistons. Uh, this is the crankshaft, and the crankshaft journals. This is the camshaft, and then the bolts for the head gasket, and the, uh, now the most important thing you need is to download the workshop manual if you're ever doing this job and um, this manual covers the all the MD series so uh, there are various other bits here on the floor the uh, some of the oil pan parts um, the new exhaust that I got done from Renz there the engine mountains the pulley the timing gear cover Bell housing, oil pan, starter, water pump, um, the alternator, the transmission, the uh, red well, the water uh, radiator, whatever, flywheel, various other bits and pieces. So over the next few videos, I will attempt to put all this stuff together, and see how it goes. Um, I'm an amateur so I'm just going to take my time and step by step follow the book uh, you know one of the most important things you need to follow is is uh, the uh, gives it here all the uh, torquing it gives all the torquing specifications for it so um, that's about it really so the MD uh, 2010 is a two cylinder indirect uh, heating uh, system uh, engine it gives a 10 horsepower output um, so it should be a good little engine when it all goes together and it should last for another 10-15 years hopefully all right talk to you soon bye